what does work. So we're going to, I haven't even tested it yet. He has a electric override hydraulic. Um, all his brake lines are rusted out. My good friend, Kevin Davis, we're not related, is going to come over and um, do this repair for us. So we're going to put a new um, breakaway, a bigger battery on here, a new Hydrostar unit. We're going to do new brake lines and we're going to do the metal brake lines. We're going to go through and check and make sure now that's how bad the brake lines are show them. So Eric just bought this trailer and he's a captain so he needs to be safe. There are some challenges with this trailer because it's easy loader. Easy loader um, makes their own stuff. It's not interchangeable. Um, we have two certified welders on staff, so we run into anything, we can make our own part. So, um, we need to check the date code on the tires, make sure he's okay. He did have brakes and aluminum rims. Um, Miles, why don't you tell him what we see with older trailers with brakes and aluminum rims? A lot of rust because they usually don't use stainless steel lug nuts. So it gets a lot of swelling on the uh, lug nuts also. So what we normally suggest is stainless. But we've had um, people who haven't taken out their tire probably in a year or two, and it's been so bad that the um, rotor seizes onto the aluminum rim that it's nearly impossible to separate them. So anybody out there with brakes and aluminum rims, and really on any trailer, you should be rotating your tires or properly servicing it. It's also important if you have aluminum rims when he picks up the trailer, that he retorts at 25, 50, and 75 miles because the wind wins the blood and it to be back to back off high spec as an engineer to new room where that doesn't happen. I'm interested to see it. So his axles look sturdy, but we'll we'll check that. It looks like he's gonna new, need new brakes, um, new lug nuts at least. We'll check the date codes. Um, we're going to do something interesting on this trailer like we did with Captain Bard because he is a local charter man and I'm so into brakes. Um, Miles, we're going to do different brand brakes this time. We're going to um, we're gonna use some Hydrostar, some Sturdy Built, Kodiak, different combinations. We're going to do a Dacrament. We're going to do a Code of Art Stainless, a Stainless Steel, anything we feel like doing. We're going to put each and we'll, we'll keep you guys up to date on it. And then he's going to check back in with us and let us know what he notices about it any of it so when you come and you get breaks from us it's not just because we're trying to sell you a break we truly know what the best breaks are we don't want to um just have one option we want to have economy for those on budget we want better and best so we will go through all the breaks and what we're putting on on in the next video so what do you think of who i think it has a lot of extensive damage i'm seeing on the the, the rotor itself so we're going to probably just strip it down to the spindle and put new six lug hubs. I would say, yeah, new hubs. Yeah. New rotors. Yeah. Yeah, so this is currently set up with UFP. It's interesting because he has an actuator on this trailer. He does not need that um, because he does have the electric or hydraulic unit. So at some point, this trailer had um, surge brakes from an actuator, and then they upgraded it to an electric over hydraulic. So we'll go through all that and fix it the way it needs to be. We also will do um, a complete safety check to make sure he's safe on the road. Let's go up to the front of the road. I want to point something out to you guys. So right here, um, in my opinion, this boat needs a valve stop because whoever's loading this boat is going to struggle because they're loading them blind. Um, it looks like Easy Loader has their own system. However, I did ask him, did he bounce on the way here? Um, the winch wasn't tightened down all the way. So I'm going to try and I'm going to talk to Kevin and see if we can move the electric over hydraulic unit so we can move this up and put a valve stop so when he's loading, he has more support and he doesn't have to see the winch to get it right on and it, that'll make him a lot happier and it'll stabilize it on the highway where he's not bouncing as much. So um, we need to take some pictures of this, send it over to Kevin. Yeah, see, I knew it. So that's 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 uncomfortable too. Very, what was he driving? Uh, he, was, he, he rented a truck, okay. some kind of truck that he rented. Okay, so um, we're gonna make sure that Captain Eric is safe and 
just to mention, his wife is my friend Patty, who I've been going to school with since fifth grade. I'm um, 53. So, um, she's a twin, Patty and I. Do. So, what are you getting, Dallas? What do you think? No, nothing. Okay. Not even a light. Yeah, he He's said, not reading he the lights. He did some on the lights, too. He took the lights, too. So, we're, well, we'll just see what completely wire. And um, why don't we use those new butt connectors, the soldered ones? No. And we'll show you guys the difference in the butt connectors. Hey, Miles. Dallas. Oh, okay. Miles, Dallas, can we do um, regular butt connectors on one side and the new soldered butt connectors on the other side and see how it holds up so we can record on that too. So I'm super excited. We have another trailer that we're going to be able to keep track of. Somebody who's going to take a video for us like every 30 days so you guys can see how this is done and how it holds up. And we'll check in with you Monday morning. Kevin Davis from Hydra Stars coming over. Miles and Dallas will be your techs. Um, Chelsea, Sam um, is a mechanical engineer. She'll be checking her work for safety. Chelsea will do customer service. And then Greg will be doing the, our, our technology part of this. So we're happy to move forward with the trailer park rules and show you guys some of the experiments that we're doing. We'll see you on the next video.